Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and today I'm going to be reviewing my newest deck, the Fro Grand Duchess Tarot. So this deck comes with a really cute little um, silver pentacle charm. I'm just going to take it out of the box. Now the Fro Grand Duchess Tarot is a uh, independently published, so it's a self-published deck by Jen Crutch. And Jen Crutch is the is the creator, the artist of the deck. Okay, so first of all, I love the card backs. They're very understated. They've got like a a, um, a lacy pattern on the back, so very pretty. Now the cards, um, well actually I'll tell you about the little white book first. So the deck comes with the standard little white book and the little white book is very basic so it's got um, the basic meanings of each card and it also includes the reversed meaning as well and then in the very back um, it's got the Celtic cross spread and a description of that spread. Okay, so moving on to the cards, I'm just going to go through the deck so you can, can get a feel for the cards while I talk about them. So this is, um, it's hard to see, I know on video it's probably hard to see the title of the cards. This is the world. This one's probably my favorite card, I really like this one. I'm just going to see if I can zoom out a bit. So the card stock is um, quite sturdy and it's glossy, so the cards have a really nice feel. And this is a collage deck, so Jen was inspired by magazines from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And so she cut out images from those magazines and then put them together collage style to create the cards. So as you can see, this deck has like a really cool retro feel to it. And um, it's funny because uh, looking through these cards totally reminds me of um, my grandmother's magazines. My grandma saved a bunch of women's magazines. Like I think she had a Cosmopolitan, or no, it wasn't Cosmopolitan, I think it might have been Woman's World or Woman's Day or something like that, and sh uh, Chatelaine Magazine, um, Family Circle, New Woman, or I forget what, I forget what they were called, but there was like a whole bunch of them that she saved, and I remember going through them, and um, and it's really interesting. Like if you if you have a chance to do this, um, it's really interesting to see like. Particularly with, oh I love this card, <laughs> this one really cracks me up with the mustard colored washing machine and the, the bad wallpaper, I really like this one. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought there. It's really interesting to see like what kinds of things were being advertised in magazines then and um, especially the women's magazines like um, certain things like um, like douche bags, like you don't really see like ads for douche bags in <laughs> women's magazines anymore. And there was like so many ads for that in um, women's magazines in the 60s. It was like a really big thing. And there was even, I even saw an ad, it was for Lysol and it was um, marketing Lysol as like a crotch spray. And <laughs> it was like, doctors recommend douching with Lysol for daintiness alone. <laughs> and um, so it's just really interesting like seeing like what things were like normal back then which are totally not normal now and it kind of makes you question the things that are like advertised in magazines now and like what are we going to think of those things like 30 years from now. But anyways I got off on kind of a tangent here so as you can see this is a really cool really unique retro deck. And I really love, um, I have to say, I love the borders on these cards. I don't normally like borders on cards, but with these cards, I think it's really beautiful. The design and then the color, it's like a minty sort of green. It's really nice. Um, so the thing with this deck is that um, the cards aren't immediately recognizable. Like, for example, this is the Three of Cups. Um, so 
So um, Jen, the creator, doesn't, um, you know, she's, she's uh, doing her own sort of spin on each card, her own um, rendition. So it's not, um, you know, like a Rider Waite clone. Um, but I find that the cards do take quite a bit of contemplation, which is kind of nice, you know. Um, so they're not, I wouldn't go to this deck for like a really quick reading. It's the kind of deck you'd, you'd want to use when you want to sort of be drawn into the deck and you want to contemplate the cards. Because these cards definitely invite contemplation. And I feel like they have a real dreamlike quality to them. Um, like they remind me of dreams just because they're like, you know, the images are all sort of different and kind of, you know, kind of kooky, kind of interesting. Um, so it ha does have that sort of dreamlike quality to it. The one thing I do find confusing with this deck is, um, and I mean this is entirely, this is not a fault of the deck really, this is, <laughs> this is me, um, is I never really learned Roman numerals. And so um, this card does use Roman numerals on the, the minor arcana. And um, because the cards aren't immediately recognizable for me, um, and then I look at the title and it's in Roman numerals, I'm like, ah. So I find I'm looking up the meaning in the little white book a lot with this deck. This is a really cool one, the Falling Tower. So this deck is a lot of fun to read with, and it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the Housewife's Tarot. Um, that's another deck that has, it, it's not a collage deck, but it has like um, sort of elements of the 60s and 70s. Um, and so it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun to read with, and it's definitely one of those, you know, really unique decks, like I don't have any other decks like this at all. Um, well, I just said it reminds me of the Housewives Tarot, but it's not like the Housewives Tarot. But I, it's a very, very unique deck. So definitely if you're into collecting decks and you're looking for something that's a little quirky, a little different, um, this is a pretty cool deck to have. Um, I wouldn't say this is like the best absolute beginner deck because it's very, um, uh, it is a very unique deck and you kind of almost have to learn this deck on its own. Um, and like I said, it really the cards do invite contemplation. So if you're if you're one of those readers who likes to read by intuition alone, and you just don't care about the card meanings, etc., then um, then it's irrelevant. You'll really like this deck, and it will be easy for you to read with. I think. Um, but if you if you like to sort of rely on the traditional meanings of cards, then um, this deck takes a little bit more uh, engagement and study before you can start reading you know, really easily with it, which is, I always like that in a deck when it kind of challenges me to like go deeper into the cards and really, really look at the cards rather than just um, kind of dismiss them. Oh, I love this one. This is Death. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I really like this one. Oh no, it's the moon. Sorry, the moon. And then we're back to the beginning. So if you'd like to purchase this deck, I'm going to put um, the link to the artist's website in the about section of this video. And I think you'll, if you do purchase this deck, I think you'll be quite happy with it. It's a very, very beautiful, unique deck. It's The cards are wonderful quality and, um, and it will allow you to have some really um, interesting, really insightful readings. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Kate, and you can find more reviews at dailytarotgirl.com.